The obscure reason why Jesus asked Peter if he loved him three times. In the aftermath of the resurrection, a poignant exchange between Jesus and Peter unfolds by the Sea of Galilee, recorded in the Gospel of John chapter 21. Here, Jesus asked Peter three times, do you love me? This repetitive inquiry, far from being redundant, holds profound theological and personal implications, revealing an obscure, yet deeply significant reason that transcends a simple query of affection. To understand the depth of Jesus's question, one must first consider the backdrop of Peter's threefold denial before Jesus's crucifixion. Peter, who had boldly claimed he would never forsake Jesus, ended up denying him thrice before the rooster crowed, as Jesus had foretold. This act of denial left Peter in a state of despair and guilt, questioning his own loyalty and love for his master. Jesus' repeated question to Peter served several purposes. Firstly, it mirrors Peter's three denials, offering him a path to redemption and restoration. Each affirmation of love from Peter counteracts his earlier denials, symbolically reinstating him into his role as a disciple and leader among the apostles. This act of grace underscores the theme of forgiveness and restoration that is central to the Christian faith. Each time Peter affirms his love for Jesus, Jesus commissions him with a pastoral charge. Feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. This progression not only reinstates Peter, but also emphasizes that love for Christ is the foundational qualification for Christian service and leadership. The repetitive nature of the question and the escalating responsibility highlight the importance of love as the driving force behind the care of Jesus' followers. The thrice-asked question also serves to probe the depth of Peter's love. By asking three times, Jesus challenges Peter to reflect deeply on the sincerity and depth of his commitment. This intense personal interrogation forces Peter to confront his feelings and the reality of his faithfulness, moving beyond superficial declarations of loyalty to a profound, heartfelt declaration of love. For Peter, this exchange is a transformative encounter with the grace of Jesus. It illustrates that failure is not final for those who turn back to Jesus in repentance and love. Peter's journey from denial to declaration reveals the personal nature of discipleship and the power of Christ's forgiveness to restore and empower his followers for service. The number three, significant in biblical symbolism, often denotes completeness or wholeness. Thus, Jesus asking Peter three times if he loves him symbolizes the complete restoration of Peter, not just as a disciple, but as a key figure in the early church. It reassures Peter and all believers that despite past failures, they can be fully restored and used by God for his purposes. The obscure reason behind Jesus' questioning of Peter goes beyond a simple inquiry into Peter's affection. It is a profound lesson in love, leadership, and the nature of true discipleship. This exchange teaches that love for Jesus is the cornerstone of Christian service, that failure is not the end for those who return to him, and that Jesus' grace is sufficient to restore and commission even those who have fallen short. Through this deeply personal and symbolic act, Jesus not only reinstates Peter, but also sets a precedent for forgiveness, restoration, and the primacy of love in the Christian faith. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Bible Short Stories signing off.